Hey everyone, I'm Zaire, and I'm your local Japanese teacher here to answer some of your most common Japanese questions. Now, you guys obviously haven't seen me for a month, ever since New Year's, but today I'm going to start the series. It's called Let's Ask a Japanese Teacher. The series I'm going to create in order to, one, shout out my new course that I actually just finished getting getting like all the stuff finished in the month of February. I finished it right when February began, so now I'm trying to promote it. I'm promoting it in my school and outside to others. I I use this app called Hi Local, which you guys can go check it out if you want, and where you can speak to natives. And I have some people that may are, that are probably from there that are watching. So shout out to you guys. But anyways, let's ask a, te a Japanese teacher, basically a series about any of you guys' most common beginner Japanese questions I'm here to ask. And if you actually don't know where to start, go ahead and check out my course. There's a website with the link below, and there's a website right here. Sasakogo.com slash view slash Japanese with Zaire. I'll cover more on that at the end of the video. But these videos are set up to answer some of your most common beginner Japanese questions, or it can be intermediate. I can also do things like where I just speak Japanese or you guys can have conversations with me on videos or I have N4 or whatever, read the news, whatever. But the series right now is for beginners. This episode is for beginners. So, um, this is our episode for Japanese greetings. Now, we all know what greetings are in languages. Basically, do basic things in order to greet people. I say hello and goodbye. So, that's what we're going to be learning today. And if you guys like, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit post notifications. Anyways, thank you so much. Okay, you guys. So first, we have up here on the board, which I'm going to be using the board as a method of teaching. So please look at the board as if we're actually in a classroom. Um, our first greeting is the most basic as it can get. Hello. And in Japanese, hello is konnichiwa. Ko -n -ni. Chiwa. Now, when you're saying konnichiwa, make sure to have the emphasis on the n. Most English speakers do not do the emphasis on most vowels. So, a lot of English speakers don't say konnichiwa. You say konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Now, you see how that's wrong. You don't say konnichiwa. You say konnichiwa. So, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. You use in any point of the day. Um, so you just like say a friend, oh, konnichiwa. Um, you have hello, ni hao, and annyeonghaseyo. That's hello in English, Chinese, and Korean. And when I do my translations, I will also do them in English, Chinese, and Korean for international viewers. Um, so yeah, okay. So, minasan, which means everyone. We have our next greeting on the board. This is, how are you? Now, you can use this with konnichiwa, as we said, which is hello. So, how do you say how are you in Japanese? Well, o, ge, n, ki, de, su, ka. Now, make sure when you're saying it with the su, the su, you always roll it. You know, I'm sorry, you don't roll it. You pronounce it nicely. So, the su is not su, it's S. You know how we say silent or snake. S. So, o, ge, n, ki, de, s, ka. Like that. We say su because that is what the hiragana character is called. Su. However, when it is actually spoken, we don't say o genki desu ka. We say o genki desu ka. O genki desu ka. O genki desu ka. So, that's what we say. And if we're meeting someone that we already know, we can say, Oh, konnichiwa. O genki desu ka? Konnichiwa. O genki desu ka? Konnichiwa. O genki desu ka? So, that means, how are you? Ni hao ma. Ni hao ma. And, jitage yaseyo. <laughs> sorry. Otage jinaseyo. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyways, let's go on to the next group. Also, minasan, when you're saying o genki desu ka, that means how are you, right? So, you can also say genki desu. Genki desu. 
Genki this. So Genki this means I'm fine. Okay, I that's how we have the last greeting. Now this one is a little bit of a stretch, but this is nice to meet you or yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Now let's go ahead and slow that down. For those who didn't get it, it is yo ro shi ku o ne ga i shi ma su. Remember for su, we do the soft s, so not just su, it's so o ro yo ro shi. Now, also, I want you guys to mark for she. She is also sa, so it's not, you don't always say she. Didn't In certain situations, you do say she. But normally in conversation, they don't say, Japanese people do not say she. They say sh. So, like, sh. Like, she's ka. Or you can say, yoroshi. So, in this sentence, yoroshiku. So, they say sh, but in some instances, you do say she. So, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. This phrase is nice to meet you, but it can also mean, please take care of me um, for the future. So, you say this to people you've never met before. This phrase isn't directly translatable. So, if you put it in Google Translate, you're not going to really find the translation. But... It can mean nice to meet you and please take care of me. Two different meanings. So, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. So, you can say, konnichiwa yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Konnichu, konnichiwa yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Hengyaoxing, hengyaoxing ni. Mangyaseyo pangomida. Now, minasan, let's get to the outro. Congratulations, Minasan! You guys have made it to the end. Normally, before we finish, we would have a practice, but we didn't learn that much. We only learned a few greetings, so we will have a practice next episode. Anyways, uh, this is the part where I want to shout out my business. Um, today I want to give some shout outs to my language course. Let's learn Japanese with Zaire, where you guys can learn authentic Japanese like this with actual in class private zoom lesson so you can get all the best learning which lasts an hour for an hour and you get in class and out of class assessments so you actually get to practice in the class and out of class so you have extra practice and if you have any japanese questions even if you don't want to do the course if you have any japanese questions please email me at zbiz.twitter at gmail.com and I will answer them and I will answer to them. I will email your answer to you as quickly as I can and I will most likely put it in a video. So, hey, I could put I could put your question in a video that most likely others may have. So, um, yes, please check this out. It is very cheap. It's $10 per class and $17 for two classes. It's very easy to apply. All payments are done through Cash App. Um, there's also a Google Classroom that you can join. And all of all of more of the information in the entire course document where it has the absolute beginners class. These are for absolute beginners, people who don't know where to start. This is an easy way uh, for you to start and learn basic Japanese so your Japanese can go off. But by the end of this course, which should last about four weeks, you will know how to make Japanese sentences like Watashi wa or watashi wa gakkou ni ikimasu those type of sentences in a matter of a month um so yes please check out my japanese course and happy learning minasan jana see you in the next video